Greetings to everyone gathered in Bangkok for the regional dialogue on LGBTI persons, human rights and health in Asia and the Pacific. Your participation at this event is so important. The reviews conducted as part of the Being LGBT in Asia initiative and the Asia-Pacific Regional Dialogue of the Global Commission on HIV and the Law all revealed that many Asia-Pacific countries continue to have laws and policies which directly or indirectly discriminate against or criminalise people based on their sexual orientation or gender identity. The inclusion of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex people and the fight against homophobia and transphobia are core to the Sustainable Development Agenda and for human rights for all. Equal rights are not special rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights promised a world that is just and inclusive of all, including LGBTI people. At UNDP, we're committed to reducing inequalities and ending exclusion. By bringing together LGBTI people with governments, national human rights institutions, the private sector and development partners, this dialogue provides an opportunity to discuss the critical rights issues facing LGBTI people. As with the dialogues of the Global Commission on HIV and the Law, your work over the next two days will strengthen the evidence base and inform our collective action. For generations, many LGBTI people in Asia and the Pacific have been subjected to institutional and social discrimination, to misunderstanding and to violence on account of their sexual orientation, gender identity or gender expression. That hurts all of us, as when it comes to human rights, an injury to one is an injury to all. We also know that discrimination and exclusion exact a large economic cost to countries using a new methodological approach developed at the World Bank, one researcher estimated that the cost of homophobia to the Indian economy would amount to 1.9 billion US dollars a year at a minimum. We know what needs to be done. Discriminatory laws used to stigmatise, criminalise and punish LGBTI people have to be replaced by laws which protect LGBTI people from discrimination on grounds of sexual orientation, gender identity and expression. Public education and access to employment are also essential to challenge negative stereotypes and promote greater understanding. And we mustn't forget the importance of family support and love for young LGBTI people who are coming of age. I wish you all a very useful and successful event.